One of the best things about a conference like this is collective action. We are all part of something bigger. Together here, we have space to learn, to think, to dream about what's possible when we're in it together. We're definitely stronger together. So this conference provides the perfect platform for all of us to get together and share resources. The value I think that I am getting in participating in this conference, it's unspeakable. It's always really great to see the work that other people are doing. It really gets us jazzed up and gets us motivated. We found that one key insight was that Black caregivers are often very willing to be caregivers and on top of that, have more likely been negatively impacted by the pandemic than non-Black caregivers. The future of senior centers right now is very, very bright. It's a time of great challenge, but also a time of really great opportunity. And how we succeed, guys, is together. You are the first group to actually see what the new benefits uh, checkup site is going to look like. We've actually been providing healthcare transportation for patients to and from their medical appointments. Actualizing the NCOA equity promise meant that we had to go into communities and allow our trusted partners the ability to design strategy on the ground. For the first time, networks that were about older adults aging well uh, and assuring equity joined forces with networks that focused on addressing the well-being of the Black community and the Latinx community and migrant workers. The health equity really is, is simple. It means that everyone has a fair and just opportunity to be as healthy as possible. The name says it all. It's both age, aging plus action. Embedded within that is a real call to action. Employers might have seen the pandemic as a first in a lifetime chance to get rid of the older workers. And it's time for Congress to step it up. That is why I've been fighting to ensure that we protect the rights of older workers. But you're our voices. We need you to be engaged. We need you to make sure people are hearing you, that you want action. I'm feeling fired up to do more advocacy. One thing that I have learned is Refresh your mission-driven heart and your passion for the aging population. But the real reason I'm here today is that I simply want to say thank you. Thank you so, so much for the work that you do. After all, the theme today is age plus action. And so we need action and we need you to just keep up the good fight. Look at our map. We've got fabulous nationwide coverage and just such a reminder that Advancing equitable aging isn't something any one of us can do alone. It really requires that collective action.